without IK, just here, if we hit play and we hit two, we got rifle in hand, but it's falling out of hand. It's falling out of hand, especially in aim offset. But even without aim offset, it's still uh, not very good. And it's moving just all over the place. So if we were in first person perspective, that would be even worse. And now if we enable this IK, which is just a hand IK retargeting and leg IK, which is designed to solve those issues. If we hit play, select rifle, perfectly in hand. It is obeying the rotation of the hands and it is actually aiming as intended. That looks quite decent, actually. So we got stop covered. So now we need a name offset that we have to make from scratch. So let's jump into that. After that, we can go here, go into animations, and we need aim offset, which is not 1D, but 2D, and we'll call it rifle pro uh, aim offset. Okay, and this requires um, animations that we have here, and let's see if those animations are already additive. No, they're not. Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. Um, okay. Stand aim. Uh -huh. And let's open all of those. Okay, so we need to make them. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't remember if it was local space. Let's see here. Uh, let's just open any of those animations. Okay, this is. Uh, that's not what I was looking for. Um, okay, this is mesh space and animation. Okay, so I know where we're going with this. Okay, so this need to be mesh space and this need to go uh, select the animation frame and you go into W2 uh, aim uh, center standing game center and it will be f faster if we just select it here and now we go into each of those and say mesh space selected this one mesh space selected this one mesh space selected this animation mesh space selected animation frame and just do it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, save everything and now we can close those animations. And what we need now is to go here, open our aim offset and 
yeah let's let's begin with dragging some of those so they are w2 stand aim point okay uh, w2 stand aim point and we got it center so this is center and the preview pose will be um, will be the one that is pointed here so the center one uh, let's go back here okay so this is down 45 down 90 down 40 what? Okay. Apparently this one wasn't additive, so I couldn't set it. Two point stand. Okay. Um, down 45 point W2 idle aim idle in place okay It's additive against itself that also works. Okay, there's something wrong with this one obviously we're going to fix that in a second so let's do left 45 left 90 left down 45 left down 90 left up 45 left up 90 right 45 right 90 right down right down oh we can't do this uh, this one uh, look center standing yeah this one this one Okay, setting a mouse it is always so right up forty five, right up ninety, uh, right down ninety, right down forty five. up 90 okay and the IPC stand aim okay up down but there's something definitely wrong with this one uh, okay uh, point center stand okay it's this animation uh, not the crouch one go back here up down 
left, right, up, down. Looks like almost everything is okay, only right down 45 didn't drag. And why is that local space? Oh, okay, it has to be mesh space. So that was the problem. Uh, so right down 45. And my preview just vanished for some reason. But we're going to see if it works in in game itself. So aim offset rifle pro aim offset and we're going to make a variable called aim offset and this is going to be a vector 2D. And we'll just get it split and call it but first we need to set up that this goes from minus 90 to 90 and from minus 90 to 90 our blend weight interpolation is 4 and this is called horizontal and this is vertical and we're not scaling at all. Those are additive animations. So this should be the entire setup necessary. We have to go back to our core, select uh, this. Oh wait, compile save. Go here, rifle pro, we've got new variable. And we need aim offset, final aim offset. Just link it here. Okay, the preview wasn't working, but the aim offset definitely is. Okay. So we got the aim offset and if we want to have a better preview of the character uh, what we can do is that here we can add a mesh and we can find our rifle uh, meshes get this rifle and just add this skeletal mesh and where we want to add it is the ik handgun socket we just want to compile it and see how it looks like so this is <laughs> in idle if we go into two you can see that it is attached but it's falling out of hands when we're doing game offset but as long as we're aiming forward it's actually uh, in correct position most of the time especially in idle so if we, I go now f8 and eject the character is mostly holding it correctly. So how can we fix uh, this is uh, for the next episode that we're going to do right now. So this is landing. Okay, so we are switching those poses, right? And we want our rifle that we have in hand uh, to stick in hand and not fall out of hand because it's attached to an IK bone 
that is using the aim offset but it's not uh, really perfect so there are two ways to do it one way to do it is just to go here and after the aim offset we can do hands uh, oh no, not like this hands ik hand ik retargeting and here we can say that the weight is one the right hand fk is the uh, hand r left hand fk is hand l right hand ik is ik hand uh, r this is the left one and i can both move is the IK handgun. Now what it does it's trying to move the IK handgun in such a way that either right or left hand matches uh, IK to the FK and then it is um, moving the uh, other hand to match the first hand that we set as dominant. So right now if we aim it's a lot better but still not perfect like the gun is aligning with the right hand but it's not aligning with the left hand. So what we can do right now is go here and say two bone IK. Or you know what? We can actually say uh, leg IK, which is being used in Fortnite as two bone IK mostly. Uh, and what we want to do is just to specify legs, which are actually hands. So uh, IK is the a left hand uh, IK and the uh, FK is hand L and we leave everything as is and we add another one which is set up in the same way so we're saying that this is the right hand IK and this is the right hand we compile save and if we hit play now hit 2 and start aiming now our hands are in position as should be even though uh, just seconds ago you've seen that uh, it was out of position and this is doing that because of how the entire skeleton is being set up and those IK nodes are specifically designed to solve this issue and uh, another really cool thing you can uh, find is that if we stop and we go into our character and uh, oh let's let's play it as on big screen again so i will show you without ik just here if we hit play and we hit two we got rifle in hand but it's falling out of hand it's falling out of hand especially in aim offset but even without aim offset it's still uh, not very good and it's moving just all over the place so if we were in first person perspective that would be even worse and now if we enable this IK which is just a uh, hand IK retargeting and leg IK which is designed to solve those issues if we hit play select rifle perfectly in hand it is obeying the rotation of the hands and it is actually aiming as intended. Okay, let's see how this looks in multiplayer. So just move this guy around. If I hit two, this is him strafe walking. And uh, this is if he hits an obstacle start walking and this is his aim offset replicated turning in place yet without animations but working perfectly okay everything seems to be in place 